Hi, my name is Chris Young, and I've created this video for the Adafruit Weekly Show and Tell. You may have remember I was here a couple of months ago showing off my remote control. Remote control, and to get started, we'll show you that we have our uh, Show and Tell sticker proudly displayed on it. The project I want to show you today is a mouse and keyboard emulator that I built. It's always been a challenge for me to find new and better ways for me to use my computer despite my disability. Most of the time I use Dragon Naturally Speaking, which is a dictation software. But there are certain things that Dragon won't do very well. Ironically, it doesn't drag the mouse very well, despite the fact that it's called Dragon. Um, I also have an app on my iPod Touch that will let me move the mouse around the screen, but it doesn't allow me to drag at all. So I wanted to find a way to use an Arduino to simulate a mouse or a keyboard. Because every once in a while the voice program will lock up or there are things I can't do with it. If I was going to use an Uno, which was all I knew about at the beginning, it was going to be a real hassle. You'd have to reflash the um, USB controller firmware and then you have to use ISPs to upload your sketches because you can't use the the regular uh, USB to upload sketches. I was going to have to learn all sorts of stuff about human interface device protocols for for USB. It was really going to be a hassle. So I kept putting it off, putting it off. Finally one day I said, okay, let's do it. I do one last Google search. How do you use an Adreno to simulate a mouse? And a new link popped up introducing the Adreno Leonardo. I'd never heard of that before, so I looked at it. And what was going to be incredibly difficult was now going to be insanely easy. The Leonardo is especially designed to be used as a mouse or a keyboard emulator. It has libraries built in. It does it all for you. It was just crazy easy. So here's a photo of what I built. I used Adafruit uh, enclosure box. It didn't need to be weatherproof, but it was just the right size for your weatherproof box. That's a 20 character by 4 line LCD display. Uh, there's a Leonardo inside there. There's the I squared C uh, SPI backpack on the display because the the uh, the Adafruit shield doesn't work with the Leonardo. Uh, the I squared C pins have moved on the Leonardo, and so I had to use the backpack. And there, you can't see it, but there's a little infrared receiver in the corner. I operate the device using the TV remote that I have mounted on the front of my wheelchair. Uh, you use the arrow keys in mouse mode to move the mouse around, uh, up, down, left, and right. Also, I have diagonal movement keys available. I can drag with either the left or the right mouse button, click with either the left or the right mouse button. I can also hold down the shift, control, or alt buttons. The SCA that you see in the lower left screen, those turn to capital letters when I hold down the shift or control or alt buttons. Uh, the text on the right side of the screen is a reminder to me of other buttons that I programmed for cut and paste features. They're available independently of the mouse. Here's an example of something that the Adreno mouse will do that the voice control will not do. I want to dock these windows to the side of the screen so that they're side by side. Drag mouse right. As you can see the voice control when I drag it to the right it did nothing. Now we try the Adreno mouse. And that works perfectly. When I edit these videos, I need to be able to drag the mouse with precision. That's really hard to do with the voice control. You can see here. Drag mouse lower right. It's much easier to do with the Adreno mouse, especially when making very small mouse movements. Drag mouse right.
slower, 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 drag mouse left. With the Adreno, I can just control the speed by how much I pump the buttons. I don't have to say slower, slower, slower. Stop. Mouse right 10. Mouse left 4. Mouse right 1. Drag mouse right. Slower, slower. Slower, slower. Slower. Stop. I also have an arrow mode in which the arrow keys on the remote move the arrow keys on the keyboard instead of moving the mouse. This is especially useful when selecting a large number of files for drag and drop. Here I'm going to drag 150 frames of an animation into a new folder. You can see how cumbersome it is to do with voice control. Press shift page down. Press shift page down. Press shift page down. Press shift up. 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 Drag mouse left. Faster. Faster. And here it is just like an able bodied person would do it with the Adreno mouse using the arrow mode. You don't have to say press shift up, press shift up dozens of times to get on the right file. Now I'm going to show you the final mode, which is keyboard mode. It's not really very useful. I really did it most for demonstration purposes. In this image you can see we have a complete keyboard. This is why I needed the uh, 20 character by 4 line display. Here I'm typing in ADA into my uh, Internet Explorer. The autocomplete puts up adafruit.com. That blinking cursor is done completely with software. I didn't like the built-in cursor, so I alternate between an underscore character and the character that's supposed to be there. I move over and hit the Enter key, and there I am on Adafruit website using the Adreno keyboard emulator. And that's all, folks.